some examples of parallel circuits can be seen here. The important thing about parallel circuits is end-to-end uh, -end connections. So if you notice over here, point A and B, the bottom of the, uh, the top of resistor 1, top of resistor 2, bottom, bottom, they're all they're connected. These are parallel and they're directly across the source. Uh, so resistor 1 is in parallel with resistor 2. Same here, even though we have an AC source, uh, the resistors are still end to end. Unlike the series, the series uh, connection went from uh, just one point was connected. Here, again, and, and these are all connected together. These are all connected together, so all four of those resistors are in parallel. Let's take another look at this. Now, this one looks a little different, but it's still a parallel connection. If you look at point A, uh, the top of this resistor, R2, is connected to the top of resistor 1, and look where the bottoms are connected. I mean, even though this is a huge line, they're still connected. The bottoms are still connected together. What about here? Top and top. Here's the bottom right here, and here's the bottom of this one. Still parallel. This one's a little easier to see. Uh, here's the end-to-end -end connection here. And again, you follow this to the source, follow that to the bottom of the source. Those are in parallel. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some examples here. Right, let's try this one. Again, end to end, all the tops, all the bottoms are connected. So I have R1 parallel with R2, parallel with R3, parallel with R4. Now the uh, parallel formula is 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, 1 over R3, plus 1 over R4. You do not just add resistors in parallel. So here, uh, 1 over R1 is 1 over 120, uh, which is 0 0.00833. Uh, 1 over R2 is 1 over 82, which is 0 0.012195. 1 over R3 is 1 over 270, which is 0 0.0037. And 1 over R4 is 1 over 180, which is 0 0.00555. Now all I need to do here is add all these up. Uh, point, let's see if I can fit this in. Point zero zero eight three three plus point zero one two one nine five plus point zero zero three seven plus point zero zero five 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 and that gives me point zero three zero five three point zero three zero five three and finally, I'm just going to go up here, RT is 1 over that 0 0.03053, which is equal to 32.74 ohms. So here, my total resistance is 32.74 ohms. Now, a characteristic of parallel resistors is the total parallel resistance is always less than the smallest valued resistor. It's not a perfect check, but it will give you an idea if you did the math correct. Notice my smallest resistor in parallel is 82, and I came up with 32.74 for total, which is correct. Here, parallel circuits all have equal voltage. So the voltage across Resistor 1 is exactly the same 
as the voltage across resistor 2, across resistor 3, which is equal to the source voltage, which is 15 volts. Now knowing this characteristic of parallel circuits makes it very easy to find current. Uh, current 1 will be 15 volts over 56 kilo ohms, which is equal to uh, 0.267 milliamps. Uh, current 2 is 15 volts over 27 kilo ohms, which equals uh, 0.555 milliamps. And finally, current 3 is uh, 15 volts over 82 kilo ohms. which is equal to 0.1829 milliamps. Now the current uh, total, once I know my branch currents from Kirchhoff's current law, is the sum of all the currents. So I would add 0 0.267, 0 0.555, 0 0.1829, and I come up with Uh, point zero zero one zero zero or one two one just about one milliamp now I want to if I want to double check this uh, what I can do is find total resistance by taking uh, one over 56 K 1 over 27k and 1 over 82k to get my total resistance equal to uh, 14.9k. Again, it's smaller than my smallest resistor. Finally, I can still use Ohm's law it's going to be, as you can see, it's just about 1 here. 15 volts divided by 14.9K is equal to uh, 1 milliamp, approximately. So that's just another way uh, to solve that problem. Here's a problem that gives the branch current what's the total voltage. So again, I'm going to start with Ohm's law. Voltage equals current times resistance. I know current and I know resistance. So I can find voltage 1. Voltage 1 is going to be the 300 ohm resistor times the 15.2 uh, milliamps. So I take 330 times 15.2 milliamps which gives me approximately 5 volts or 5.0 one six volts and knowing that in parallel circuits the voltage across all the resistors in parallel if they're directly across the voltage source that's what the voltage source is equal to so I really don't have to do any more calculations whatsoever because I know I'm going to have uh, 5.016 as my voltage source I could if I wanted to at this point find my current two by taking my 5 volts and dividing it by 470 and then to find current 3 I would take my 5 volts and divide that by uh, 270 and that would give me uh, for R2 10.67 milliamps and for I3 it gives me 18.57 milliamps. In this problem here, if I have uh, 3 milliamps total current, 18 volts, I sh should be able to calculate R2. I know that I1, I2, I3 is going to equal 3 milliamps. All I have to do is find the branch currents uh, 
So I1 is going to be 18 volts over 33K. I2 will be 18 volts over 27K. So that's 0.545 milliamps for I1 and I2 is 0.666 milliamps. So therefore I3 is 3 milliamps minus 0.545 minus 0.666. So that's equal to 1.78. Therefore, resistor 3 is equal to 18 volts divided by 1.78 milliamps. So 18 divided by 1.78 milliamps is equal to 10K.